Hi my friends and welcome back to another Moonchild Pet Supplies small business vlog. This week's vlog is going to be a little different than usual as obviously we're moving office into our current new office. So to start off this video we'll be showing you our new empty office and then obviously moving all our stuff in. I do want to say that during the first few minutes of the video the audio is a bit echoey so I've added subtitles so hopefully that helps you kind of understand what we're saying and what our plans for the office are. And then towards the end of the video we're going to be doing our regular small business activities <laughs> weekly schnapps so definitely stick around for that if you want to watch that too. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please remember to give us a like if you enjoy it as it really helps us out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you don't want to miss out on our future videos. I will leave our shop link in the description below if you want to have a look at the pet accessories that we make. I think that's all I wanted to say for the intro. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so we have our new office. So we just wanted to talk about what our plans are as we have a lot more space now. Maybe what are the plans? I don't know. <laughs> this is our old office, it's really messy. Also, it's much smaller than the new one, which is why we're moving. Okay, so we're gonna have our coats up here and then on this wall is gonna be Maddie's desk. I think I want it like here so I get like the light and a nice view. This would be really good to put our banner on this wall and have this is like the standing and filming wall because yeah. of the light. In our old office, I wanted to stand at the wall, the light was behind me. So yeah, the, the lighting lights would go really good. weird. The lighting's actually really good in here. So I think this wall would be really good to put the banner and have it as a filming wall. And this could be your sewing desk. And then yeah, your sewing so desk could go here. We'll have to yeah. see once we've got it because we actually haven't got a cutting desk yet. But I was planning on putting my sewing, sewing table here. Yeah. So we can each have our own space. I don't know if it's gonna be weird with like space between the desk. Put the packing table between them, we'll have to see. Our definite plan for behind the door is we're gonna get a little fridge freezer and then like possibly if we've got enough space, we're gonna have a little shelf to put our snacks. So yeah, this is the new office. We've got also some neon lights. They could go maybe here. Because obviously I'm just thinking like plugs wise, we've got some plugs here, oh we've got them there. So we can have like a filming corner here mm -hmm. with the banner and then the lights here. Also we've got a big plan, a pothos. I don't know where we're going to put her yet. Maybe between the desks, we'll see once we start moving everything in. Exciting! So yeah, that's our new office. We're excited to move in so and have excited. so much more space. We'll show you again our old office. There's literally absolutely zero space yeah. whatsoever. We're so excited for this new adventure. Yes, and we've got until next Wednesday. So it's mm -hmm. Wednesday the 13th of March today. We've got until next Wednesday. I'm guessing it's the 20th if my mouth is correct. To get everything out of that office and hand those keys back. Okay, so for reference, this is literally how close the two offices are. So please don't judge the absolute state that is in at the moment but yes this is literally our old office it's an absolute chaotic mess but we are moving it wasn't always like this it's only because we've like we know we've been moving so we took everything off the walls yeah and, and we just... literally had to paint the window right. i mentioned in the last video they were that pink color but we've just yeah. painted them white because we do want our deposit back it's never like this so please don't think also, we did have a storage room shared with Simon, but we've had to move out of that as well, which is why all our storage is in here, like our mm -hmm. boxes and everything. It's yeah, not it's literally usually. just everywhere. It's bad. But it's okay, we've got more space now in our current office. I just feel like it's a lot brighter. Our videos are gonna be so much crisper. And I'm so excited to put our banner up in the wall when it arrives. But yeah, so everything's off the wall. Wait, so that means the day you guys are watching this, we would have handed back the keys to this office and we'll be fully moved into our new one. Ooh. Exciting. Yeah. Let's get moving. Moving. So what I've done so far is I've sprayed the windowsill, I've got to keep it smelling fresh, got some disinfectant in my eco bottle, opened the windows to kind of air it out a bit. It's literally just been empty and so. emptied. Yeah, so we're going to start bringing things in Yep. and we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Yep. <laughs>
said goodbye Tell myself I'm over it Let go of us the day you quit Then you call and catch me by surprise Okay, so we finished moving everything into our new office and we've just handed back the keys to our old one. We've been working in our new office for a couple of days, but it's still not 100% set up yet. Like this wall is still bare, as you guys can see. So we still need to put some of our framed stuff on there and also some shelves in that that we're gonna put on the wall. I don't know if you can tell I'm really tired. So sorry if I'm not really making much sense right now. But we've got the moving office part done. What we need to do now is work on our new collection. If you guys have been watching our latest few vlogs, you'll know that we've got a new collection coming on the first of April. We've got some catnip fish coming, also some bow ties, pet bow ties that slide onto your pet's collar. We've also got some stickers and also some other cat toys, which I've not mentioned yet, so I'm not going to tell you guys today. That might be in next week's vlog. So what we're going to be doing now is working on some more of the catnip fish. We showed you guys in a few vlogs ago making some of the catnip fish. We're also going to be working more on the bow ties. I don't think we've ever shown you guys our process for making bow ties, so you'll be watching that in the next couple of minutes. So let's go now and prepare for our upcoming launch. Hold that thought because our Vistaprint order has arrived. Don't mind my pajamas, by the way, or slippers. I was in a cozy mood today. Anyway, let's unbox our banner and our business cards. This video is not sponsored, by the way, but we ordered our banner and our business cards off Vistaprint and we're going to be unboxing them right now. <laughs> we were originally just going to buy the banner, but at our last market, we definitely needed some business cards and we weren't able to make them at home and we didn't order them in time for the event. So we were having to have business papers for that event. So that wasn't very professional or, you know, they weren't very easy to pick up because it was just a pile of small papers. So we decided to buy the business cards as well this time. And again, another motivation for buying them was it pushed us to having free delivery on the banner. So that's always a bonus. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think of our banner design and also the business card design. It's pretty much the same thing, but obviously the business card has two sides. So the logo is on one side and socials and email are on the other. Do you guys like our new branding, our new color scheme? Let us know. All right, so now we've had a look at everything that has arrived from Vistaprint. Let's get back on with preparing for our upcoming launch like we were meant to be doing. we've had a really busy and stressful week and to top it all off our sewing machine stopped working great unfortunately we do have several orders this week that we're not able to fulfill on time so we've reached out to our customers and just explained the situation and ask if they're happy to wait until monday when elisa's sister is dropping off a replacement sewing machine that she already had the actual sewing machine itself does work i can still sew but the reverse mechanism is very vital for the cat collars that we make just because the way i make them makes them super strong and i've tried 
absolutely everything to make them the same way with the manual reverse but it's just the sewing machine is very very old it's just not having any of it so i don't want to send out faulty or not perfect cat collars just because of my machine i'd rather the cat collars go out a little bit later but at the best quality possible to make our customers happy and it makes me happy as well so so this is the example like when i make a collar i go over this multiple times and it catches the edges of the collar it just makes it more secure and i do this for each part of the hardware installation it just makes sure the collar is super secure and it's not going to fall apart but because i don't have the reverse function anymore i can only do the middle bit and it just to me it just doesn't feel as secure as i like it like obviously if you pull it it's not going to come apart but it's just not how i like it and yeah i'd rather be happy with the product that i'm sending out to a customer than send out this <laughs> We have the autumn pumpkin that needs to go out, the teal lace that needs to go out, pink moon and stars, and then also a blue moon and stars. And then not listed, we have two kiwis, a spider web, and the rest is fine. <laughs>